I watched a couple of reviews on Huion Canvas 13 and they were all so good. Like I heard a lot of amazing stuff about this tablet. But then I was wondering if it's that good, why Huion has other models? Why do they still even produce like more expensive models? I'm a professional card designer and I've been using graphic tablets over 10 years now. And I have a couple of things to say about this Huion Canvas 13 here. First of all, thank you Huion for sending me this beautiful tablet. I've been using it around a month for my personal and also professional projects. So I was able to test it heavily for a month and now it's time to share my opinions about it. I will tell you a couple of my favorite features as well as a couple of things, couple of points maybe you need to hear before you buy it. So if you're interested in Canvas 13, I would highly recommend you to stick around until the end of the video. Let's start by unboxing. You will have some cute stuff such as the donut pen holder, a glow, cleaning fabric and they all are nice to have. And then we have the pen, tablet and the cables which are probably you are more interested in. The pen feels good, it is quite light which is a good thing for long drawing sessions, you will not feel like you are working out with your fingers, so it feels really comfy to control. The tablet itself is super light as well, it really surprised me actually. On other unboxing videos I heard they were saying be careful while removing the protector layer because underneath there is another matte protector which is anti-glare layer that you needed to stay on the tablet. So I was very careful and didn't face any problem. So it was really easy to remove and now I have this nice matte cover. It is quite nice feeling to sketch on it. There is also the stand in my box because I also asked for it. You need to order it separately which means it is not included on your default order so if you don't have a stance already I would definitely suggest it. Because it is very useful to sketch on different angles and when you don't sketch you can use it kind of like the additional display that way. Last thing from the box is the cables. This is a typical 3-in-1 type of cable set. One USB and one HDMI goes to your laptop or your computer and one power USB goes to the power supply. And if you are new to this drawing tablets, this tablet world, basically this is a monitor which needs external power and a computer or a laptop to run the softwares. So it doesn't have a computer inside. And this 3-in-1 cable is more or less a standard. However, what makes me really happy about this tablet is you can also use USB-C to C cable. You also need to order it separately from Huion and they have this very nice cable for you. This way you don't need anything else. If your laptop is able to give enough power to tablet, only one cable will be enough. I have a Thunderbolt input on my laptop so I can directly connect them and it makes everything way more clean and tidy. And seriously this is one of my favorite features about this tablet. Let's sketch a Lambo here while talking about my experience. As I said, I've been using different tablets for some years, some of them are high-end and more expensive, some of them are entry-level devices. And what is surprising about Huion Canvas 13 is price-wise it is a really good deal and quality-wise it is really impressive. But it is impressive for this price. I say it is impressive for this price because on other high-end models there are some other features and elements which makes them expensive and higher quality. This tablet is not the best quality tablet ever compared to way more expensive models but still just a couple years ago this quality of a tablet would cost way more than that. And this is why it is so surprising and impressive for many other creators. And also for me it is very impressive because just a couple years ago you wouldn't even buy a display tablet with this price. And you should really think about if you really need more features than what Canvas 13 gives you already. I used it on my professional and personal projects and I didn't feel like it is not enough or anything. It works totally fine and does the job for sure. So if you have this tablet with you, you shouldn't find any excuse about your work. I think on that level of device you should be definitely able to do your professional and personal works. Especially if you are a beginner and this is one of your first tablets, it is definitely a great choice. However, if you are professional and use some other pro-level high-end tablets before, you might feel a couple of points that are not that satisfying. I will talk about these parts a bit later in this video. Now let's talk about some impressive features of it. For example, the distance from the tip of the pen on your sketch is super minimal. It is very close to the pen so you really feel like natural while sketching. So the technology they use here makes it possible and the tablet feels very light and compact for the same reason. And carrying it around on your backpack is like no additional weight at all. And this matte surface on the top, the anti-glare protector, also gives very nice feeling while sketching. It's not like directly sketching on the glass, if you know what I mean. There are enough amount of control keys on the side, but personally I don't use them much. 
because I got used to my shortcuts on the keyboard and my muscle memory just wants to have the keyboard next to me. But I really like the design of this minimal symmetric keys and also the overall design of this tablet. There are three different color options, all look cool but I picked the black one, but still a part of me is wondering why I didn't pick the green one. Anyway, on this sketch I directly started to create the idea on tablet rather than on paper. Sometimes I sketch first on paper and then import to Photoshop and color it, but I wanted to show you the pressure levels and the thickness of the display, which gives me quite nice control for my sketching and it feels very natural. And after that black and white sketch I wanted to add some strong colors to make the sketch a bit more fun. I will not go so much in details of my sketching process, but if you are interested in you can check out my online Photoshop for car design course, the link is in the description. I told you there are a couple of points you need to keep in mind before you purchase this tablet. There are actually only two points which made me understand why Huion still has different more expensive options and they both are about the display not about the drawing experience or the pen or anything else. One is the colors and the second one is the brightness and the contrast of the display. It just felt a bit weird after my previous high-end tablet. I felt like the display is not bright enough or the colors are a little bit off and there are some adjustment options and I tried them but I'm still not super satisfied about the color and the brightness. But I don't mean they are wrong or they are not enough or something. As I said I used it on my professional projects and it is totally good enough to work on. However all I'm saying is just don't expect the same quality of your high end or expensive displays. I guess this is the answer of why Huion still has other models and I would also like to test them and review them actually. For now I will stick to this one and I will keep on using it on daily basis. As I said it is totally enough for my professional and personal work and it's quite compact and lightweight so I can confidently say that if you're interested in budget-friendly, quite good drawing tablet, you can go on with this one. And if you have any questions that I didn't mention in the video, please write down in the comments what are your thoughts. And if you find this video helpful, please just hit that like button. And if you're interested in car design, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more car design videos. See you in the next one.